The Recoil REC 10K Pneumatic Air Driver is offered in a kit that includes the pneumatic driver, a hex adapter, a large front end assembly or FEA, a small FEA adapter, the lubricator and regulator, a pressure gauge that goes onto the regulator, and the spanners. On the pneumatic driver, there is no on or off switch. Pressing the trigger runs the tool forward and pressing the reverse button will run the driver counterclockwise when tool is connected to air supply. The REC 10K pneumatic driver is designed to install recoil tanged and tangless threaded inserts and comes with two adapters. The small adapter is used for installing threaded inserts from sizes 256 to 1 quarter inch. The large adapter is for installing 5 16th to 5 8 inch inserts. There is also a hex adapter which can run the hex installation tools for M2.5 to M12. In order to change adapters, you simply unscrew and remove this sleeve. Then place adapter on the left hand threads and screw it on. The front end assemblies for both recoil tanged and tangless threaded inserts have two key components. The nozzle and the mandrel. The nozzle has the part number for reference and the air pressure required stamped on it. The tanged mandrel has a ramp which helps drive and install the tanged inserts. The ramp on the mandrel pushes up against the tang of a recoil tanged insert, allowing the insert to be driven into a threaded hole that's been prepared for the size of insert being installed, and then easily extracting after installation. The tangless mandrel has a spring-loaded pawl that grabs onto the notch of the tangless insert to install it. The standard front end assembly, the FEA, comes with a shim and three depth spacers for 1D, for 1.5D, and for 2D. The smallest spacer is for the 2 diameter insert. The medium spacer is for the 1.5 diameter, and the larger spacer is for the 1 diameter insert. First, unscrew the mandrel completely out and place the spacer over the mandrel and before screwing the mandrel back into the nozzle. Then replace the assembled FEA into the adapter and hand tighten. To make sure you have set the FEA to the correct depth, place the FEA over the STI thread and manually screw into place. Once the mandrel has stopped, then reverse out. The FEA is designed to be used for bulk or strip feed inserts. Towards the front of the nozzle, there is a slot that is used for the strip feed. Simply slide the plastic strip through the slot for the strip feed. The final component is the filter and lubricator. This component is mandatory for each air driver. The arrows show the direction of airflow. The filter is designed to remove moisture and contaminants from the air. The regulator controls the air pressure, which is measured by a pressure gauge. Always follow the recommended air pressure stamped on the FEA nozzle. The lubricator is a reservoir of oil which keeps the air driver lubricated. The lubricator should be set to release a drop of oil every 90 seconds. The air driver is now set and ready to install recoil inserts once you attach the air supply from the regulator to the REC 10K pneumatic driver. When installing recoil tang or tangless inserts, always hold the tool perpendicular to the thread hole and keep it aligned. Holding the tool at an angle may cause installation failure and damage the installation tool. Before installing a recoil tanged or tangless insert, be sure the air pressure is set to the minimum setting stamped on the side of the nozzle. The REC 10K will install inserts to their set depth. Inserts should be installed one quarter to one half turn below the surface, and then a press of the button reverses the tool out. The Recoil REC 10K Pneumatic Driver, advanced technology for recoil threaded inserts.